Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Consign! Last time, we actually finally set off <laughs> to the Kerrigal Sea after plenty of waiting. Um, this time, we have to choose a new Oarsman. Uh, so, the second person you want to choose is this Baldwin. What? Oh, no, you're gonna make me row? Uh, you do want me to row? Okay, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm going already. We got, you're, I'm not gonna forget this, you! So, there are actually plenty of ways to get to the Secret Island. The important part... As you get back, your brother has been with you. So these guys say the same thing, so we're just gonna skip through it all. Um, the important part is you have to have an unbalanced. I don't know why specifically this ball man has a less strength than the warrior, because you would think that, you know, they're both not large men, but you know, they're both men, 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 men's. So it's like you'd think they have relatively close to the same strength. I mean, the warrior's probably gonna be more stronger than the ball man, but still, there's no one. He's probably the strongest guy we got. So I don't know. The order I'm doing, I actually just took off the Wikipedia page. Like I said, there's plenty of other ones, and I believe I have experimented with this before, but it's kind of a high failure rate, so that's why I just kind of took an order that way. Um, I'm, you know, I'm replicating order just because I don't want to waste time trying out to figure out some other things. But there's plenty of other ways to do this without worrying about it. So, yep. Are you kidding me? Oh. See, how does this guy not see these again? I thought someone was going to yell at him. This thing landed on the mast. Jeez, man. Holy crap. And he didn't notice these guys either. Good lord, man. Find him. Oh, oh my god, Isaac, really? So, if the pattern isn't clear enough, every time a monster ap appears, someone dies. <laughs> or loses conscience, but pretty much dies. I like how the monsters just sit here until we go to fight him. Really weird. Ah, I have to roll the ship because of you. Now I'm seeing what's going to eat me. Sure, in a fix. Say, hey, you're gonna roll next, aren't you? Nope. Okay, so there's two man oars and a Virago, which we've never seen before. Battles we have seen before. Let's quickly take care of those scrub lords first. Then we're gonna put the Virago next. Fuck me. Fuck me! Uh, I'm sure this will kill the ball. Okay then. Didn't expect him to die that easy. Uh, Virago, he's level 17, he has 185 hit points, he drops 120 gold and 87 experience points, he has a 6.25% chance of dropping elixir, his ability use Banshee Howl, which I'm pretty sure could stun you. Also, I never noticed before, look at the oarsmen in the background, they look really derpy, they also look like they don't have shirts on, which, I don't, I think they do, don't they? Forget. Yeah, they do. They're kinda skin-toned, though, I suppose. Maybe they don't have shirts! The green bandana guy does. Oh, they don't have shirts. Never noticed that before. Wow, weird. They have boobies. I don't like it. Zero out of ten. Would not touch. Is the way around it? All right. Fine. All right. Who do we ask next? Um, all right. The next thing I want to ask is the chef. You. You're not joking. You want me to roll? Yeah. They're tiny eyes. Look at those tiny eyes. What jerk? Why are you against me? Because I feel like it. Isaac, you're back. You've oars been with you. Alright, well. So, rule of three should tell us this is the last one we have to ask. But, this is a set of four of guys here. So, you never know. <clears throat> so, I think the idea here, like I said, is getting unbalanced, right? I don't know why the chef's on the warrior side. Because it's like you'd think that, you know... Being a chef, he's not going to be particularly strong. That old bald man, or not old, but you know, that like middle-aged bald man, he has, he probably has old man strength, you know? The like, old man strength. And if you watch these guys, I think they'll be kind of rolling out of sync. Not really, actually. They don't look like they were. Ship sailing across the sea, sailing across the sea. Do, do, do. Uh, by the way, I haven't really commented on this section of the game in particular yet. I love this part of the game. It's probably one of my favorite parts. I enjoy it a lot. What's wrong? The ship shouldn't be rocking this badly. Isaac! Isaac, come on deck! Isaac, there's a huge monster on the ship. If we don't do something, we'll sink. You'll have to help us. If the ship sinks, everything we've done will mean nothing. Let's go bang us some sea monsters. Um, yeah, that sounds kind of scary. I think I cash in his men were It's going to be a tough fight. Imagine the size of that beast. Is it even possible to slay such a thing? Pfft, I'm sure it's fine. Is there anyone here I want to talk to? Uh, 
last oarsman. Alright. I'm also stuck everywhere. I'm stuck everywhere. I should have stayed home. You're probably in a safe place though, dude. <laughs> well, again, then again, I guess the oarsmen are. The ship is starting to lit. To, to list? Interesting. If you don't do something, she'll sink! Treasure the catcher's reaction. Must be a fearsome beast. What kind of monsters rock ship? I really want to go take a look. Keep that in mind. Casual not want to ask for help unless it was serious. Well, the little ship is rocking and the monster must be ginormous. We're okay, we can handle this. We can handle anything if ship sinks, we're finished. Well, these sea monsters keep coming one after the other. I know, right? There's a lot. Uh. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, wait, oops. Oh. Um, so, considering this music, you're probably assuming. Probably a. Tough fight, right? We're gonna run around and get our GN all set up here. Great. Is there any I don't care to use? No, these could all be pretty useful. Uh, we will heal real quick though. Just wishing on up. I'm also gonna save, cause you know. Haha, <laughs> this is gonna be fine. <laughs> Alright. Upstairs we go. Oh god, Uranus! Is he dead? Uranus! Oh god, Sean! It's a Kraken! Kraken appeared! Oh god, this guy. Kraken, level 25, the highest level we've seen of anything yet. Uh, let's start by lowering his stats. Defense, you know what, let's do attack first, boost our attack. Boost, um... Let's use... Uh, let's boost our resistance, that's probably a better idea. This guy's actually pretty difficult. Uh, he's level 25, he has 2,400 hit points, he drops 5, well, you know what, I won't say that. <laughs> he has a unique drop, he has, he has two turns, this is the first boss we've seen, actually, that uses more, uh, he attacks more than once a turn, so that's interesting. Look at this eyeball, scary. He's asleep? Oh, we put him to sleep! No way, this is also one of the very last bosses, we can, uh, status ailments will actually affect him, so this is one of the last bosses that sleep will, um, do anything to him at all. Let's keep that in mind as well. I'm actually very surprised he went to sleep, you beauty guys. Uh, Zephyr might as well buff ourselves up while he's asleep. Sleet. Um, because we use Drench. Drench. Frost Spear. Water Blessing. Dark Blessing. Poison Bee, which, as you would imagine, has the ability to poison you. You use Fly, so he can heal himself by 100 HP. And Spinning Beats, which also just hurts a lot. Look how spoopy he is. Although, him being asleep is pretty big. I feel like that'll probably be very helpful here. Scorch. Uh, let's use kites on... Mia. Yeah. Um, although, hopefully... <laughs> I don't want to heal yet, because no one's taking damage. Mia's ready for action. Take that, you punk! Oh, I should've... Wait, who is he weak against? Probably wind, I guess? Nope, fire, which is weird because he's a water elemental. Spinning beats. Yeah, that looks pretty freaking painful. 98 down. Oh, don't hit me again, please. Thank you. Holy crap, that's scary. me. Good god. Yep, that's why, uh. Let's use granites. Woo, we little donkey! Gust. And then. You and. He has more of a chance of hitting Garrett, but Mia has less health. Not by a whole lot, though. Mia also has less defense. Let's heal Mia twice. Well, I guess I made the right call of picking Mia to be the one to go twice. I thought maybe that was a bit foolish, but nope, it worked out. Aw, oh, I'm gonna get the one hit with Gust. 57 and 52 HP, okay. Yeah, that was probably a good idea. Plus, with Granite on our side, we should be fine. Delusion, that's actually pretty good. Poison Beat, uh, ha, <laughs> that's funny. On my practice file, he, Garrett's the one he hit with the Poison Beat as well. Damage. Garrett's not doing so hot again. Oh god, well, I don't think it's ma it'll matter because I... Should I just bet everything on this? Oh, I don't want Garrett to die, though. Let's heal him. Oh, well, water won't do a whole lot to him anyways. We've already seen this before. Is, is this gonna be it even? Nope, it's not. Okay, good. Well, that did take off... That took off over one... Uh, five, ten? One-fifth of his health. Good god, did I really have to... Yeah. Wow! Those two attacks were like freaking over a thousand hit points of damage. That's insane. This should kill him. This should be super effective and kill him. Yep, 738 damage. Unbelievable. Crazy, man. 711 experience points! Gears the 18 guard! Uh, master of the uh, guard's Flare Storm! 
Has some HP by 8, PP by 3, attack by 3, defense by 2, agility by 3, uh, 5,200 coins, and some water of life! We did it. Thank you, Isaac, you did good against that Kraken. Got lucky there, that sleep really helped a lot. Well, that's not the horseman, though. <laughs> that's why I said I remember the guy that wanted to take a peek, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a fly, that's why he lost him. You check the hall and go find some of the roll the ship. Um, so... There's, actually, I haven't shown what happens when you have poison! There you go. That's horrifying. There, there's two noises there, actually, just by chance. Actually, it's probably the same beat. Uh, you'll get Jin back the exact same rate you'll for... Um, for, uh, 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 for poison damage, so that's probably why we're both at the same time. Marinus is fine. I feel sorry for the oarsman who got injured. Let's see. You got this guy got thrown. Well, we saw Sean get thrown across. The they say the same thing. They used to have really unbelievable. Sha we saw Sean get thrown across the ship. Like, good god, these guys are up like nothing happens. So this one's kind of the hard one. You have to ask the old man to roll for us. Out of all people, you're asking a frilled man like me to help you roll. You guys, know, my class when he's lost or something. No kidding. I feel so bad, but we need him. I'm pretty sure the old man's the guy that's like in every single setup for this, you need the old man. Well, you can help us, bro. So, this should bring us to a secret place. So I like how the cook is still flipping pancakes. Making big pancakes. Pretty sure it's ready! Ship score is clear! So... Alright, we're off. We fought a boss, surely they can't be more, right? Right? I don't know, man, if you watch the old man here. Oh yeah, you'll see them rowing completely out of sync. Oh yeah, the old man's not really rowing at all, is he? No, I never said. And you'll see the ship going to the top right before we're just going straight. Wah wah. Bye bye, seagulls! Land ho! For some reason, this guy, look, he has like a. It looks like he has like a red eye. Eh. Look how fast the ship's going, holy crap! Hmm, so you finally reached Toby, huh? Um, no. That doesn't, that doesn't look like Toby's coast. You must be off course. I don't recognize this place. You're right! Oh, it's like an island! Hmm, maybe we should stop for a minute. We need time to check the ship's position. Let's head for that island and get bearings. And here we go. Sorry. <laughs> here we go, you guys. So this place is really cool. This is another section of the game I like. This is the entirely Caragal Sea section of the game I enjoy quite a bit. We reach the island through his rest of those very arms. Uh, islands? Isn't this Toby? This ship went out well, of course. And we're, well, we're not sure where we are. Come to this island so we get our bearings. Raise your dongers and rest a little while. Ship is going on. I'm waiting down here. Let's take a break out front. Hey, LMAO. And everyone leaves. Screw it, we're going home. But not really. Um, been saying for many years, I've never seen this island. It's crazy having uh, inexperienced passengers rowing this ship. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I mean, again, again, it's like hard. It's hard. It's hard for rowing. Good lord, when rowing, we can just sit and space out. But this makes me nervous just sitting here not rowing. Let's see, islands the Caribbean Sea. Hmm, just thinking. Could this be that island that's rumored to have buried treasure? Even if it is, I'm scared the monsters leave the ship. I wonder if it's okay to at least leave the ship here. Wow, I have a blister on my drumming hand. Yeah, I guess stopping and going like this is probably holding our hands. Should we? Because you think I'd be giving you a break? Oh, things have changed. Oh, didn't mean to go out yet. I don't feel so well, don't talk to me. Oh, that's creepy. What's creepy? 
I actually don't know what she's referencing. Perfect girl, there won't be any monsters waiting to pounce on me. I don't hear passenger. I don't, I don't hear the passengers screaming to get off the boat. So I don't know if there are monsters out there. Let's see. Oh, never mind. As I say, all the guys that are growing are here. But nope, that woman is not growing. She keeps shaking. She can't take much more. I'll pull my feet. I'm firmly on land. Can't go into the island. It's too dangerous. What are there monsters? What to do? I'm the passenger safety. These guys want to go in there. Few monsters living here, so the ship might be dangerous. Should we? Why should we have to wait on this tiny boat? Because there could be monsters out there, you freaking flipper flacker freak, flea poop poop. Go ahead and try something. I'm going ashore. I'm creeped up too long on the ship. <laughs> yep, I mean, it didn't help that I decided to go to Vale for some reason. Kajirin and Captain are professionals. We gotta trust them and wait like they said. And we still like Kajirin the wind and the waves. That's actually pretty cool. How, like, you know, sailors in general work, how they have the ability to figure out where they are just by stuff like the wind, the stars, like that kind of stuff. We've taken the wrong route, but we've made a lot of progress. I'm really surprised that an island like this is in the Carrigal Sea. If we're looking at the ship's position, it'll be a bit longer. In this direction, high seas, you've got to be close to Toby. That's cool. That's so cool. I was able to just know that. Um, I don't think this guy says anything particular. Careful, there could be monsters anywhere around here. I don't know, man. Isaac, you talked to the passengers, didn't you? The true group is arguing about whether they should leave the ship. We'd like to go ashore and see if it's safe out there. We promised we'd protect the ship. And we promised we'd protect the oarsmen. You guys are just spooked, aren't you? That's it, Isaac. Can you go and check the island and see if there's any monsters? Sure. I see, you're gonna go for me, aren't you? I'm sure no one will complain if we scout the islands. There's no one telling what kind of monsters we're looking at. Be extremely careful. <laughs> sure, it's fine. Done a good job keeping the ship safe so far, as you can do everything else while you're away. No telling what kind of monsters are looking at this island. Because, well, this is another Kraken. You're like, don't worry. But what if another Kraken attacks? Then you guys are screwed. So this is crossbow. Oh, well, we don't know that yet. One second. Hmm. So there's actually no line you can see, which is interesting. You can't see anything around here. Oops. So this doesn't seem to be on the map. So here's the Kelly docks. And this is, this is the water reasons. If you guys take a look here, we only have like this area here that I'm circling right now left to explore. So we are, we've, I'd say we've explored like two thirds of the area in the entire game. So we're getting, we're getting there you guys. We've got a ways to go yet, but we're getting there. So run around as you may, there's actually nothing really here. So you go into here, which is really weird. This is Crossbone Isle. And this place is freaking awesome. Freaking cool, man. Do that and get to now have there we go growth. That noise hurts my ears and I don't like it. We have a little a couple things to explore here. I mean, I guess the passengers can come to shore really because there's nothing really going on here. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything behind here or not. I don't think so. It shouldn't be. Nah, bro. Nah, be. Uh, we go. Uh, there's a crevice here. Do not go down that one yet. Ooh, there's a little mutt. So, this is essentially Treasure Island. <laughs> there's a lot of cool stuff you get here, uh, and there's a lot of garbage you get here. Oh, mint! There we go. That was that was one of the good things. Um, I'm gonna go with my logic from before that giving me uh, the mint and stuff would be very helpful for. Um, for getting item or for healing, right, right. I forgot what to say there. I'm so slow. There's another chest up there. As you guys know, we're going for like every freaking chest in the game. Freaking gosh dangers! There we go. Open her up. And one coin. And like I said, there's some garbage here as well. <laughs> I knew there was a horrible chest in here somewhere, but uh yeah. So it looks like we're pretty much done here, except there's a little last cave to uh to explore. Let's go over there real quick, see if we can, maybe this will be like the Veil Cave. Well, I don't know if there's a cave behind here yet, really, but yeah, surprise, I spoiled it. There's a little cave behind here. No, it'll be like the Veil Cave where there's like power bed or something. Nope. Guess what? It's an entire new dungeon! Weird, right? So a log there, it looks like a face. Hey, let's go see what's in this door. What? 
every single one of these doors. Very weirdly, it has a boss battle. Hobgoblin appeared, Virago 1, Virago 2 appeared. So we've already talked to the, the Hobgoblins? Or sorry, we've already talked about the Viragos. The Hobgoblin is a new guy, though. And he doesn't afraid of it. Oh no! Well, Garrett has some new synergy maybe we could check out. Oh, we haven't checked out Flare either yet. Uh, oh. Alright, let's take care of the Viragos first, because they're weak little puppers. Alright, Hobgoblin, he's level 23, he has 658 hit points, he dropped 800 gold and 223 hit points. Um, he has 100% chance to drop a lucky medal, I'm gonna say that just because you don't think the Viragos are dropping him. Uh, he has ability to use crystal power, which, ouch, hurts a real bit. Uh, now it should be good for him return if we have to use anything. So, these are more or less, this is more or less a mini boss battle. Um, yeah, he used... Uh, crystal power, he has the ability to use nuts on himself, which will heal 200 hit points. He uses smoke bombs, which causes illusion on us. And he uses sleep bombs, and just normal attack. There we go. So he doesn't have a whole lot of, I guess he does have a few damaging things, but for the most part, it's pretty, pretty standard guy. He's not too spoopy. Even though we're getting the boss battle music, he's, he's more or less a mini boss, really. Um, I should really use kite, like, straight up the bat, shouldn't die. I would have actually been useful for me on this turn. Just so I could have used Spritz and then used Boreas. Oh, wait, I actually need to use Fizz still, don't I? Okay, well, I can still use Fizz. Okay, we'll use Fizz and then use Boreas, if he even lives that long. We'll see. Wow, you imagine hitting me with Delusion. That's actually pretty rare. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you. Yeah, there's no way he's surviving through this crap. Kieran. Uh, yeah, he's proc me. Fizz. And then. Warrior, there it is. Oh, I was like, he might die from this, but no, he's fine. He's fine. I don't really understand how the turns go, because Mia has the same agility, so she should use Fizz and then immediately go. Maybe it's just the second turns up at the end of the battle. I don't know. We didn't get to see it anyways. I'm now level 18 Magician. Magician's Tornado. Maximum HP goes up by 7. PP by 3. Attack by 3. Defense by 2. Agility by 4. And 10 and 40 coins. And a lucky medal and elixir. <laughs> wow. So that's how this place works. One of those doors, um, you fight stuff. Uh, for how long? It's a mystery. This place is really cool. I really enjoy this place a lot. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For the next one, we'll continue to explore Crosswater Isle. <sighs> I'm tired apparently. Goodbye everyone!